He told me that if I went near you ever, he would kill you. You saw what your father did at his own funeral. Would anyone care to speak for the deceased? I saw the last grasping prank of a lunatic. You're still in danger. Your father didn't just go to bed normal and wake up the next morning a monster. What is that? Flying monkeys? No, no, it's a bomb. That's a dangerous toy. Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3 Episode 14 and today we're going to be doing a trailer breakdown for the trailer that you just watched which is a brand new trailer that was just released today. So if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. So we are finally back, I am making videos and although I'm going to actually be leaving England again I'm going to be bringing my recording equipment with me so I can make videos daily so don't worry I'm not not going anywhere anymore so today we're going to be breaking down the trailer as I said there was a new trailer release just today and it has some new shots in we're only going to be breaking down those new shots you can go check out my other episode 14 trailer breakdowns in the description below they will all be linked there I think I made two so far and so the first new shot in the trailer we get to see Win, Kara and Alex and they are all together and this is just a different version of the shot we got in the other trailer which was just Kara and Alex and at this point we can see Kara she turns it and she actually she nods her head at the same point where the vicar asks would anyone care to speak for the deceased and she nods so I can infer from that she's probably going to speak for Wynn's dad at his own funeral so obviously something's gonna go wrong because in the next shot we have an explosion and we can see all the different members of team Supergirl and obviously Wynn's mum's going to be there and a few other people duck away from the explosion so we don't know if there's any casualties I'm presuming not it's not a massive explosion, it's more of a minor explosion and in one of the last shots from a different angle, from a high up angle, we can see that Kara has actually turned into Supergirl so she's obviously detected the explosion and quickly got changed into her Supergirl stuff because you can see in the bottom left she's actually all suited up. So the next new shot is a rather ominous shot inside a toy factory which we've seen many times throughout these different trailers and that's where the new toy maker is going to be situated we would have to presume for most of the episode and we see two people running and I'm fairly certain one of these is Monel and one potentially maybe James or Wynn in this case I think it could be Wynn considering he's going to be in the field quite a lot this episode but the next shot is different look at the toy man the new woman called Jacqueline who's actually the new toy man and this is just from the other angle with Alex pointing the gun that we've seen in different trailers and we get a new shot inside the factory of someone walking and Wynn's mum's actually stuck in one of those new traps and so I'm interested to see how they actually save her but we get a shot of a toy on the floor and you would have to presume there is something ominous and probably something explosive about this doll but the next shot is again of that shot we've seen in a few trailers and it's of Supergirl actually in her own life-size toy box. We can see the shoulder of Monel, and Monel in the next shot is running because it seems like something's after him, potentially toys, and he tries to go save Supergirl, so that's going to be a big thing after Supergirl has been captured by the new toy man. Kara is going to be suffocating, and as you can see, it seems like she's been knocked out, and Monel is going to have to save her. So I think this will be the episode where Monel actually steps up and also Win steps up. So I'm really looking forward to this episode. And also, quickly, I wanted to mention one of the lines in the trailer from Laurie Metcalf was, Your father didn't go to bed normal and wake up a monster. So I can infer from this, maybe this new toy maker was actually the main person. Maybe he was having an affair with his actual wife and maybe Jacqueline influenced him to actually become a villain, to become Toy Man. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy that video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.